Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to Trig. Uh, what we're going to do is talk about trig, trig ratio identities, quotient identities. Now, again, about trig ratio identities is about uh, we have kind of like a rule identity that we could either just memorize or we could understand. So let's work on understanding things. Now, the quotient identity, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll start with some basic stuff here, okay? Um, if I had um, a fraction, 3 over 5. Well, we know that the value of this equals 0.8. Okay, that's that's just regular division. Okay, now if I said I'm going to change the way this looks and make it look like something else, uh, I'll divide. Let's say I'm going to divide both things by 17. We'll say I'll divide the numerator by 17, divide the denominator by 17. Will this be the same value? Will this also equal 0.8? Well, we know from grade 7 math that when you divide one fraction by another fraction, that's the same as saying uh, multiplying by its reciprocal. Those will cancel out, and that's what you get. So what here, as I showed you, is a different way to, you can show a fraction or whatever to look different, but give you the same value. All I did is came out of the blue with this dividing both by 17. That idea that we can divide the numerator and denominator by the same number and get the same value of a fraction is what I'm going to uh, open with on this quotient identity, okay? So here's, we're dealing with trig, so we're doing like so, uh, sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, uh, cotangent, right, etc. So I'm going to deal with tan. We know that tan is uh, toa, right, from grade 9, that's soca toa, so it's opposite over adjacent. Well. Just like I did here, I divided both of those by something. I don't want to deal with opposite and adjacent. I want to deal with the, tr the trig uh, identities like cosine and sine and all that. So how do I change that into cosine and sine? Well, I know that sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So what I'm going to do is take this O and divide it by H. Aha, now I've got sine. And this a, I'll divide it by h, and now I've got cosine. So really, tan of theta, okay, up here, we had this, but it's going to be the same value, the same value as the fraction that looks like this, opposite over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse. Remember, just like this example, it'll be the same value, which was 0.8 in this example, so this will be the same value, so therefore the equal sign is true. Now we know that this is really sine theta, I just use theta just because I like it, uh, and uh, that is cosine theta. Okay, now we have taken tan theta with our basic size of the triangle, and we said, well, let's make it look different, but keep the same value, and then we say, well, we know that this is that and that's that, so what we really have in the end, if we condense this, is this. Thus, proving our quotient identity, okay? Now, um, that's it. Next video, I'm going to show you, like, you need to be familiar with how to write this in different ways. I'm going to show you that in the next video because I might start rattling on about it and I want to keep this by itself short. Next video.